been a lot of talk in golf instruction lately about secondary tilt and moving the upper center, keeping it back in transition, making sure that it doesn't move forward in transition, um, making sure you don't get in front of the golf ball, you know, making sure you don't move too laterally, you want to stay back here. Um, to my experience, that's incorrect. That's not what you want to do. So what I've seen in 3D, um, I've seen in a couple different databases, um, goes back to my time at Sinclair's, um, looking at some of Sean Webb's stuff and athletic motion golf, some of the stuff they put out, and I completely agree, and even talking, seeing some of Dr. Kwan's stuff. Um, what you're gonna see is from the top, you know, you're gonna see a little shift to the right in the backswing to about left arm here about left arm parallel, and then everything's gonna to start to move back laterally. At the top of the swing, when the club transitions, you're gonna see the center of the rib cage and the center of the pelvis are more or less gonna be where they started. Um, relative to where they were at address, they're gonna be more or less where they were at, at address. By the time the left arm's parallel on the way down, they're gonna be three to four inches forward of where they were at address, both together. Upper center, up middle of rib cage, middle of pelvis are going to be right together, and you're going to have about 75 to 80 percent of your pressure on your front foot. So you're going to move slightly to the right, transition, get forward. Here's where they separate. The pelvis keeps getting forward, and the rib cage checks back, moves back to about where it started at address. So the center of the pelvis is going to get five to six inches forward of where it was at address. The rib cage is going to be more or less where it started, and that's going to be by impact. But by halfway down, they're going to both be together. They're going to start together here. They're going to stay together on the way down before they then separate. Upper body checks back as the lower body keeps going forward. It's going to look like this. You should be able to see that they're going to stay together, get forward, pelvis keeps going forward as ribcage starts back. So keep that in mind as you're worrying about, you know, does my head need to stay back in transition? Do I get too far forward, my lower butt? I need to stay back. I don't need to. I just need to rotate. You know, there's rotation and lateral in transition. All good players have it. You're going to see it in all good players. Hope this helps. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thanks.